the time I'm, I'm, I'm done with these uh, three things, you should be able to know where you belong. Now, this has nothing to do with your, your country, your color, your race, your gender. As long as you're on earth, you belong in one of these three categories. Are you ready? So there are three kinds of life, right? As you pass through this earth, you have to be in one of these uh, uh, categories. I'm about to mention them. Um, this is what shapes your destiny while on earth. And this is what will determine where you're even going after earth. The first one is the wasted life. Now, the wasted life are people that uh, add nothing to the society. If for anything, they destroy, they abuse themselves, they destroy themselves. They have no regard for the human life or for their, for their lives. They uh, consume a lot of uh, drugs, alcohol. Uh, those are the ones you see terrorizing the country. They bring nothing but destruction, not just to themselves, but to the country. They, 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 are, they don't bring anything to the table. That's the wasted life, you know. Uh, the, the second one is where majority of the people I have seen around the world focus on. You know, um, you see them everywhere, especially in this country. It's called the spent life. Now, the spent life uh, are people that think of nothing else but themselves. And I believe as I'm saying it, you even have a, an idea of the class of people I'm talking about in the country where... It's all about enriching themselves. Uh, when money is given for something for the society, is they, 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 they take it, they loot it, they buy big houses, tiny houses for themselves. They, they think of nothing else but themselves. Even when they meet you, what they are thinking about is how to extort from you, how to steal from you, what to take from you, what to take from the poor, what to take from the masses. It is just about them, them, them. And when you get to talk to them, you hear a lot of I, I, my, I. It's just about them. They are selfish. They are greedy. You know, and, and, and sometimes the world admire the life they have. But in reality, the life they have adds no value to the society because it's just about them. So that's called the spent life. So these are the people at the end of their life, after acquiring everything, they look at themselves and they begin to wonder, what they have done to themselves. That is number two. Number three is where even God wants each and every one of us to be at the end of this life. When God created it, this is the, the original purpose of God, you know, is to have all man in this category. It's called the invested life. You see, the invested life are people that think nothing about themselves. They want nothing for themselves. All they want to do is to serve humanity. So they bring service to humanity. These are the people you see that they are thinking of development. They are thinking of how they can, they see someone that is sick. They are thinking, oh, how can I pray for this person to be healed? They, it is all about just making the world a better place. And I have beautiful examples. One that have up until today is Jesus Christ. He did not just come and serve humanity, all the healings he did and all that. He, 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 the greatest love that any man has seen on earth, he died for the people he even came to serve. He died for them so that they can take his place. And he's been, this happened more than 2,000 years ago, but we talk about it as though he is, he's still around, somewhere around. Do you know why? When you are living the, 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 the invested life, you don't die. Even when you leave this earth. That is why there is still a Martin Luther King's day. That is why Mel Nelson Mandela is still being talked about in school today, like he's still living. The invested life leaves your name in the sands of time. But here is the beautiful thing about the invested life. While you're living that life, everything that the man that, that, that spent his life pursuing eventually comes to you. There is nothing, it's a mystery I cannot, <laughs> it's a mystery I cannot explain. But once you get to that point where you have given your life to people, 
to serving people to trying to make sure that this world is a better place bringing inventions bringing ideas these people don't think about money somebody like mark zuckerberg Elon Musk, what they have done even when they are gone Elon, uh, what is his name uh, 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 jobs He's been dead for a while, but the device I'm even using to record this thing, he invented. These are people that are bringing things to, the, to this generation, that are bringing things to the world, and people will never forget them. So it is even when you're living the invested life that everything you need will be added unto you. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 from verse 33, and this is how I end. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of god now what is the kingdom his people god is in the business of reconciling men back to god that is why god called me and you so whenever you see the kingdom it is people seek it first the kingdom of god and his righteousness then every other thing will be added unto you so when you're living this the the the, the invested life what you're doing is as you're seeking the kingdom the, is in the bible as you're seeking to serve people Everything you need on earth, everything you need to, to survive in this earth, you will not lack. And it is when you do that, that you will not just be blessed on earth, but you will be blessed even after you leave earth. Of course, by making Jesus your Lord and personal spirit, that's the ultimate. And that is when God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So, which uh, one do you belong in? Where, where, what part of this category? Where do you find yourself? Don't tell me. Have a good day. Bye.